Hello everyone. In this brief tutorial, I will explain to you how regression trees work. To use a simple example, let us begin with the case of a sing single predictor variable and one single response variable. You can see on your left here the scatter plot of the data with respect to the response variables. If we were just to fit a simple linear regression onto the data, the model would look something like this. However, if we look at the data more carefully, we will see that actually the data that's on the left hand side seems to be better modeled by a linear regression like this, while those at the right hand side seem to be modeled by a flat regression line like that. So regression tree finds the partition of the data for which different linear equations are used to fit different partitions of the data. So for example over here regression tree would find the partition somewhere around here and after that it will uh, sorry the partition is around here and after that it will fit the data separately with a regression line for data that is below some value say x naught here and for those data that are larger than x naught the fit of the data will be by a flat line like that so to represent the model we use a graph uh, representation so in the first node splits along x less than x naught less than or equals to x naught and from there the regression model that we use would be this regression model whereas the data that's greater than x naught will be modeled using this regression line instead all right so let's look at another example so suppose we want to do logistic regression with this data so as you know logistic regression um, is similar to the linear regression except that the response variable uh, is categorical rather than continuous so look at the data on the left hand side if we were to attempt a simple logistic regression the fit of the logistic curve would look something like this as you can see the data variation of the data in this part of x is actually not captured adequately by the logistic curve so let's see how the regression tree helps solve this problem so in this case regression tree first finds a partition of the data here the partition appears to be somewhere around here intuitively 
And once the data have been partitioned, the fitting of the logistic curve to the data is done separately for the data partitions. For example, over here, the model would look something like this, whereas for the data in this partition, the model would look something like that. So different curves. So suppose this value is x naught. So the model that we have obtained using logistic regression tree looks like this. So we have the first node here where there's a split x is less than or equals to x naught. For that, we use the model here. And for x greater than x naught, we use the model here. Okay, so as you can see here, using a regression tree method will almost always produce a better fit than a simple logistic regression. And finally, we're going to look at another example. This time, the example shows two predictor variables. So how does logistic how does the regression tree uh, work in this situation? So to begin with, looking at the data, so I've colored the data points blue and red. The blue and red is to highlight the partitions of the data. For example, in this when we examine the data in the X1 uh, dimension, we will note that the partition of the data that seems to enable a good fit, the linear fit would be somewhere around here. And for this part, we will fit the data with this regression curve. Now, for the data that's occurring on uh, greater than x0, maybe I shouldn't use x0, but some value a here to avoid confusion with the variables here. OK, so for the data points that exceed a, instead of modeling them with a flat line, we could actually look at the scatter in the other dimension, x2. Now, for those data that are on x2, so you have the blue and the red, so they, they actually correspond to the data that you see in this x1 dimension. But since we have already modeled the blue data points on the x1 dimension, we no longer need to model them. We just need to focus our attention on modeling the red data points. And in this dimension, it seems that the red data points show an increasing trend towards the right-hand side, somewhere up until the middle, and then then drop. So a good partition for the data is somewhere along the middle. And then we would then separately model the data with an increasing function like that and a decreasing function for the other half. And suppose this value is B. So our final regression tree model would look something like this. For the first node, we will split using variable x1 
less than or equals to a for that we have this model okay we we'll have this model and then for the split x1 greater than a we actually look at the split in the x2 dimension so here is another note so the split is on x2 less than or equals to b for that we have the model here Okay, and finally, this model. Okay. x greater than b all right so by using a regression tree method we have uh, produced a model that uh, fit the data much better than what is possible by using a multiple linear regression so i hope you will find logistic regression trees or in fact uh, regression trees in general to be very useful for modeling work and uh, most uh, a, a software that is very useful for carrying this modeling work out is the guide program which I introduced you in class so thank you for listening to this brief tutorial